Hey guys, and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. We're back with Araldus Chapman, and we're breaking down his mechanics piece by piece to show you how he efficiently and effectively uses each one of these pieces to maximize velocity. Let's get started. Okay guys, today we're going to go over spine angle and what that means in the pitching mechanics and I'm just going to do a quick video on what we want our spine to do throughout the pitching mechanics and why that's important. First of all, we want to go over what the overall spine angle shape should look like. So if we start out from the top, we're going to be in a very neutral, straight up and down spine angle and the only time that our spine starts leaning back away from the catcher is going to be when our lead foot starts initiating towards the catcher and that's when our, our lead foot starts its stride towards the catcher and we are only going to get a slight tilt back. We can see that he's very slightly tilted back away from the catcher and then he immediately starts working into a vertical or straight up and down spine angle again and then that, this is released into a flat back finish where we now have our spine angle leaned toward the catcher. So in short the overall sh spine shape that we want to have is we want to go from neutral to very slightly tilted back, back to neutral, and then a natural flat back finish. And the reason we don't want to lean far back away from the catcher is that if we do, if we lean back away from the catcher, we're now going to have to adjust our entire upper body very quickly and get it back leaned towards the catcher and play catch up with our arm. So I want to show you an example of this done fairly incorrectly and this is Clayton Kershaw. Now guys don't get me wrong he's a really good pitcher he does a lot of good stuff but this is a very bad move to do. We can see right here he's in a really good neutral spine angle but then he immediately kicks this way back. A lot of younger pitchers will try to even increase this angle a little more in an effort to gain more power or velocity in their pitch. But what Kershaw's done by getting this really tilted back spine angle is he is now going to have to very quickly move his body forward in order to get his arm back around. And you can see that these spine angle marks are actually very close together, meaning that he has gone from a neutral spine angle to a very leaned back spine angle to a forward spine angle very quickly and he hit neutral very very quickly in here and this all happened really quick this and this would be very similar to hitting guys where we want to actually keep the barrel in the zone for as long as possible to hit if we get this very jerky spine angle going neutral back neutral and then forward very quickly this would be the same as getting the bat in and out of the zone very quickly and this would make it very tough to time up and be consistent when we pitch now Kershaw he actually has been able to time this up fairly well obviously he, he pitches great but this is not going to be ideal guys for being consistent so a very simple drill we can do to make sure that we keep the spine angle correct is we feel like we keep our head in front of our back foot and that's going to keep us in a really good posture and let us feel like we're keeping this spine angle straight up and down throughout our entire pitch. And if we do this one thing, guys, it's going to help us stay in the pitch so much longer, giving us more time to build up arm speed for velocity. And Hey, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, stay tuned. I got a great bonus coming up for you. I'm going to play a preview out of our pitching series. And if you click on the link in the preview, it'll take you to a place where you can see the entire pitching series for absolutely free of charge. Go ahead and check that out, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys soon. And do you feel a little weak when you're starting to throw the ball? You feel like your upper body is doing a lot of the work? Well, today I'm going to show you how you to properly utilize the stride to get your lower half into it and maximize speed in the pitching mechanics. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so today we're going to talk about how to get the correct overall stride shape. Correct overall stride shape, simply put, is going to be our foot going down below our body then glide across the clay to the plate. Okay, what, what goes wrong a lot of times with a lot of younger pitchers is they'll get up into this loading position and they'll kick their foot out real fast in an order to, they're trying to rush to get to the plate. Now we don't want to do this for a couple of reasons. But first of all, it's going to get us, it's going to, when our foot kicks out, we're going to start leaning back to counterbalance and we're actually going to create a reverse spine angle. And we're going to have to overcompensate and we get a lot of high throws, a lot of low throws.